Are you okay? Um, yes, I'm I'm fine. I'm okay. You don't look fine to me. No, I'm very fine. I'm fine. Come on, don't lie to me. You've been this gloomy ever since you woke up from sleep. And I know it has something to do with the dream last night, right? Listen, baby, it's just a mere dream. I, I want to go and see my father in the hospital. I want to go and see him. When? Today. But I don't think I'll return today. Stop that. This is just a main dream. You're taking it too far. We, we've prayed, alright? It's okay. Okay. I'm just feeling somehow. I don't know. It's okay. It's nothing. Just... Stop, stop. Come here. Okay? It's just a dream. <laughs> Looking word. I saw it on the road and I just liked it and I picked it up. What are you saying? Why are you talking like a child? You're, you're telling me that you saw this thing on the road and picked it up just like that? Uh -huh. Evil man! What's your problem? You don't have to insult me now. I just told you, I, I saw this thing on the, on the road as I was coming in. I liked that and I picked it up. You know, it's, it's, it's quite handy. I know these days we've been having a uh, robbery case in the village. So you have to protect yourself. Ah, with something like this now, somebody comes to you. What? Clear the door. So it's handy. Hi, it's Papa. Where you mom? You lost me. Um, it has happened. Your father Ibekwe was a good man. You all lived with him. But death and sickness have taken him. You have to press up like a man. And take the responsibility that is saddled with you. Take heart, be consoled. This is a very sad one. I'm so sorry that you're going through this. Sympathize with this, with you in this. And I pray that our Lord Jesus Christ will console you. Give you peace. Yeah, hello, honey. No, I was in the bathroom where you called. Hi, it's Papa. What? When? Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my love, just 
come down, come down, okay? I know, I know how you feel. Just take it easy, okay? We're coming down to the village first thing tomorrow morning. Ah. So, how is my man Kingsley? Just calm down, okay? Please, just take heart. I know. Yeah, we'll come. No, she's here. She's here. All right, baby. Please don't think too much, okay? Okay, bye. Stella, Stella, stop! Oh. What's all this? Since Papa died, you've been avoiding me. As, as, if, as if I'm the one that killed him. Okay, who knows? Kingsley, who knows? What she just said. I, I did, I did. You know, I know what she said is very wrong. But you know, we're all having some hard times since your father died. I just think it is on our people. Who knows? That, who knows if I'm the one that killed our father? No, no, mother, where is this coming from? Does she even know the gravity of what she just said? Huh? I mean, what do people outside hear this? Just... That I killed her own father. So, sir, that is why I've come to see you. Please, I, I need you to help me, you know, be beg the elders, please, intercede on my behalf. Explain to them that, you know, we are going to pay. I understand that my father was owing a lot of money before he died. I'm not saying we will not pay. We will pay, but let us bury him first. Then I'll gather the money and pay. Uh, Kingsley, I don't think that will be possible. Mm. Your father was a titled man. So we cannot bury him just like that. He's owing us a lot of money. For the last four years and eight months now, he's still owing the cabinet members monthly dues. He has not paid any. Coupled with the last four of Alas and the New Year Festival, he has not paid any levy that we contributed to him. So all this must be paid before your father will bury as a titled man. I, I understand very well, sir. Huh? Chibiko, I understand. But please just help me back the elders. Uh, explain my situation to them. I'm not saying that we will not pay. Personally, I will pay what my father is owing. I will pay. But let it be after the burial. That's all I ask. Kingsley. Because uh, just understand me, sir. Understand me. We, we can't leave him in the mortuary. If we leave him there, bills will be accumulated. And those bills will be paid by me. Making it difficult for me to even pay the one he is owing. Please, sir. Kingsley. Listen to me. I don't think you understand me. There is nothing like payment after the burial. All this mention must be paid before the burial. Your father was a titled man. A titled man cannot be buried with, with, with the money he's owing. Yes, you have to pay all those money. Mokem, get your ego. Go and look for money. Nibirin Abambo. Then what happened to the cows? Will your father be buried with that cows? Eh? What happened to them? Get your ego. 
There is nothing I will say before the elders. In fact, it's an abomination for me to for me to tell them. They could if you if you in a bono. Eh? I'm a man. Go and look for money. Let you go. You're talking about your father's burial in that same day on the elders. Are you okay? Ah, three cows for what now? No, that's too much now. Eh? Think about three cows. Too much. No, it doesn't end there. You need to see their list. What they have there is even more than three cows. List is endless. Now, please, let's leave um, tradition out of this. Let's bury our father in a religious way. Exactly. Exactly. How can they ask for three cows for, 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 for just burial? Mm. It's outrageous. It's not just burial. It's my father's burial. Huh? No, no father's I, I, I know, I know. Please. I didn't mean to insult uh, the dead. But I'm just saying that three cows is too much. There's no money anywhere now. Things are hard. The tradition you are trying to say, get for dizzy. These ideas you just brought up is very good. But this old man, this greedy, hungry looking man, will they agree? Fuck, baby, fuck. Mama, we just have to try. Except you have money anyway. Too we much. just have it's to just try. Too much. There's no way church will collect such money for, 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 for bearing. It's not possible now. They're just greedy. Church Three now. cows. We're only in church. They refused. Kingsley, I need to ask you something very important, and I want you to tell me the truth. What again? What? Leave me alone now. What do you want to ask me? This is what I want to ask you. Where exactly did you say you got this from? Were you not listening to me when I told you about this thing in the hospital? Huh? I told you that on my way to the hospital, I saw it lying on the road. And I picked it up because I liked it. I was just swinging it like that uh, nah, nah, till I got to the hospital. Or okay, You saw it on the road, you liked it and picked it up. No, I saw it in your room. Alright, I've heard what you said. I'll keep it. I know we are owing. Even me, I'm owing. We are owing so much in the church. All I'm saying is that you should allow me to bury my husband. Then we can make arrangement and pay in the later when everything must have calmed down. Just help me. You know my dedication. You know how faithful I've been in the church. Please help me, Father. Here you go. I understand. I understand perfectly everything you just said. Thank you, Father. But. My dear, it's impossible. You see, Mazi Bekwe is owing the church. And the elders in council, they are all clamoring that he must pay what he's owing. And it's also against, against the ordinances of the church to bury someone who is owing. I'm so sorry, there is nothing I can do on this matter. <laughs> help me. I'm sorry. Please help me. My husband was a very devout Christian. He was all his life he spent in this church. Just help me. Let me bury him. We have hierarchy in this parish. I wish I could do something for you right now. I'm sorry. Do 
was spinning. So I will. Hey, hey. Is it true that Katsichi Doze refused the church from officiating Kisili's father's burial? Mercy, to be frank with you, when I heard this thing the first time, I was totally disappointed. I'm telling you, very disappointed because Papi Bekwa and his wife, they are devoted Christians, dedicated one at that. They gave all they had to the church. Eh? Can you imagine? Now that they need the church, the church is not there for them. It's not fair. Or the Roma. It's not. This is not right at all. Seriously, this is not right. Eh? And he cannot be buried traditionally because Papi Bekwe is a titled man. And I know he cannot be buried anyhow now. He's a titled man. Nah, seriously, all these things, I'm tired. Ika Gugum. The, the, the one that's paining me more is because this whole thing is taking a very serious toll on Kinsley. Child. Eh? If you see Kinsley now, what a guy. Hell. Eh? He's, he's, he's not himself. What a guy. He's not himself. Hey. It's not fair now. It's that bad. I'm t it's very bad. Eh? I could not get it, but nah, everything is just getting too much. Serious. It's okay, my sister. It's okay. It's well, eh? It's well. Don't worry. Serve God. Do everything yet. So, my brother, I intend going back to the city tomorrow. Hmm? My daughter will be resuming school. So, um, anything I, I have, hmm? I won't forget to send to you. Okay? I've given Mama some money already, but anyhow, anything I raise, I'll, I'll send to you, okay? Just manage. I believe that soon, everything will be fine, okay? All right, just a quiet key, okay? All right. <coughs> you talk, Amu. We cannot allow Kinsley to use the church to bury his father. Oh, okay, then, man. After owning us, my people, we must stop this barrier not to hold in this land. Ma, 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 so. This barrier will not hold. Even the church hmm. deny them their right of burying their father. Huh? They are on the church now. Hey. Hey. They are on the church. Wait, wait. Is there no place where this banner not hold? The drum, the drum, what yeah. is really wrong with them? Ha. See, 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 see. One, whatever it is, we must make sure that they don't conduct that burial in Amokula. Exactly. Bam. 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 Guys, guys, Bam. guys, you see, eh? I suggest to go and meet these people. Hmm? And give them our demands. If they really want to bury their father in this kingdom, so they can pay us all the money they are owing us. If not, no burial. Bam. Ah. That means we will go there tomorrow. I can get by each other. We are going to go there. I, there's nothing I can do here, Kisley. My hands are tied. Is it that there is nothing you can do or you don't want to do anything? Uh, as you can see, the way things are, there's nothing. I see nothing I can do. <coughs> My hands are tied, Kisley. See, that case is not fair, honestly. I'll tell you, my man, what people are doing is not fair. Believe me. When my father was alive, when things were good for him, I know how much he contributed to, to the, the, the building of this church. And not just the church, everything that concerned uh, 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 priests and churches and all, all that, my father will always contribute, which you know. You knew him very well when he was alive. Now that same man is dead and people are treating him anyhow. You don't want to you know, bury the man. It's not fair. It's not fair. I am sorry the way things turned out. The church doctrine and procedure must be upheld. Excuse me. Maxwell called. He said we should try and pay all the money out. 
you will not pay, you will not release Papa's corpse. So what do you tell me? Because I don't know pay that man. It's a show bank. I need to work out one by the bank. Exactly what I told him all. It's not happening. He's insisting that we must pay for the corpse. Good day, ma. Good day, ma. Good day. Ibo, I believe you want to bury your father. Okay. We, the youths of Amuque Kingdom, will not allow that to happen until you and your family pay up your debt. Even if you want to use the church, we will still not allow the burial to hold, to hold until you pay up your debt. Yes. Guys, see, that you want to go? Go down. We're not fighting. Huh? Are we not one? We belong to the same group now. You two of them. Uh, uh, Biko, you must pay up your debts. Of course we will pay. Uh, we're not contesting that. The point is just give us some time. Support us. Let's finish uh, our father's burial. Then we're going to pay. Eh? Biko. That will never happen. If you, your family, do not pay up these debts, it will never ever happen. That barrier will never hold in this community. But we just said it, and the youth, all the whole youth have concluded it, and it will never. Kaipo, it's a problem. Going with Papa's bag. Sorry, I didn't tell you, Mama. I want to go to the city. Yes, mm. yes. Uh, let me see some of my old schoolmates. See if I can raise money from them for Papa's burial. You want to go to the city to look for money? Did you give anybody money in the city to keep for you? Eh? What does that mean? Meaning that you basically know no one in the city except your ex-classmates, which you have lost contact with. So. Now you are going to the city to source for money. Does money grow on trees? Stop it! Will you stop it? I've been looking picking on your brother ever since your father died. Mama, please stop this thing. Leave me alone! The guillotine will never cease to be afraid. Excuse me. The guilty? Mm hmm Me? You know him. Wait, guilty of what? No, tell me, guilty, guilty. Mama, wait, speak up. She's been saying this thing for too long. I want to hear it today. Guilty of what? What am I guilty of? Huh? No! Stay here. What am I guilty of? Mama, tell me to leave. What am I guilty of? Excuse me. What am I guilty of? I said you I said what am I guilty of? See it. What am I guilty of? Mama, wait. Was that not the reason that you came back to this house? <laughs> Kisley, you know I know very well, I'm very sure, and I can swear that you no longer have my contact. Mm, you're right. <laughs> At least I know that you who were staying here during uh, NYS. Uh, what, what are you people still doing here? Well, my guy, I won't lie to you. We live here now. We live here, my brother. Like, fully? Huh? Like, fully you. Like after our service, we're just trying to know whether something will come up for us to do, you know. Oh, yeah, we are, brother. We are just here managing life. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. well, it's been two years since we finished the uh, NYS. Yes, my brother. You cannot hear. I cannot hear, brother. It's been we left. You wouldn't have seen us now. Hmm. 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 What about this, you? Yes. Oh, you know. People in the village will always believe that people in the city are making a lot of money. All in one tea, tea. Unty. Ah, unty. Unty. Well, let's check up. But, but, see, yeah, guy. Okay. I'll be very honest with you. I'll be my good friend. I wouldn't lie to you. I believe so feeling in the village. I know that you people have not really made it. But at least you pay rent here. 
whatever it is you will do to survive in your daily, please help me put me into it. I will do the same thing. Can you push Barry? Don't you push. <laughs> anything you do, anything. Okay. I'm, I'm not joking. Anything at all. Believe me, your condition is better than mine. Oh. Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Stella, you are my daughter. You know that you and Kinsley are my only children. Imuramun Dioso, just you two. And I can't watch two of you fight yourselves to death for no reason. So, Mom, I'm your mother. Tell me what is going on between you and your only brother. Mama. Yes. On the night that Papa died, I had a dream. That was exactly why I ran down to the village to know how Papa was faring. Kinsley walked into the hospital wearing the cloth and holding on to the baton. Exactly the same baton that was used to kill my father in the dream. And I asked him, I asked him, Kinsley, where did you get this from? Do you know what he said to me? What did he say to you? Kinsley looked me in the face and told me that he saw the baton by the roadside. He saw it on the roadside, liked it and picked it up. Kinsley at his age? Mama, is he a child? How can he tell me a thing like that? Okay. Few minutes after that, he walked in into Papa's ward. Papa woke up, looked him in the face, breathed his last, and gave up. That was how I lost my father. Papa died looking at Kinsley. And you tell me that Kinsley has no hand in Papa's death? Hey, Mama. Can you tell me that he has no hand in Papa's death? Am I fine like this? Will I say I'm fine like this? Do I look fine? Oh, Mama, please. Please don't get like this. Please. Oh, I'm begging you, Biko, for your health. Okay, Very soon, all these things will be done for Nigo, you will see it. In Nigo, Nem. Biko, please. Hey. Mama. Mm -hmm. Out of King Sleep. For some days now, I have not seen him. Hey, Onokuya. Didn't he tell you? Oh, okay. He didn't tell you. Tell me what. Huh. He went to the city to see if he can get some money. Some autograph of To the city? And he didn't tell me. Why, Kwano? Mm -hmm. We saw some days ago. Kwano. Maybe he forgot. Uh, you know he has a lot on his mind already. Oh. He forgot or something happened. Yes, Mama. Maybe uh, escaped his mind. Mama, you just made a point there. I understand. Uh, but when did he say he's coming back? He did not tell me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just looking in the time I see him. Well, okay, Mama. I, I came to give you something naturally. Mama, since he's not here, can you say again? Let me give it to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Mama, manage it. Mama, 
Thank you. There is nothing. May God reward you, Amen. mighty. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I, I know what this family is going through right now. So this is just my little savings. What I can gather. And I said, let me just come and give it to you. Thank you. So you we can manage it all. I know very soon we will testify. Only. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm I'm to go. Let me start going. I'll come and talk about you later. Okay. Thank you, Mama. Okay. traveled without telling me he traveled to the city without letting me know that is not fair why would you do that to me why just calm down okay calm down I understand how you feel but given to all that has happened to him he's likely to forget some things to you okay calm down she just sounded like his mother this was the exact thing she told me but that's the simple truth. That is the truth. So come on, button up and let it go. What exactly are you saying? I do not understand what you're saying. What? I don't understand. Damn. Chica came here today to see King Sini. Stella. Stella, stop this animosity against your brother. You know your brother Kinsey loves his father very much. He cannot kill his father. Mama, I am sorry you are the one saying this. But I have absolutely nothing to say to you till after Papa's burial. After his burial, I will tell you my mind. I will. Stella, I know how you feel. Let it go, man. Let go. Anyway, Chica came here today. See, See what she brought. Just be it. You see this money? Chica put it. She said we can do anything we want to do with it. But I want you to go to Dr. Baswa with it. Tell him we shall bring the balance. Give this one to him. Oh, Mom. Oh? Mama, I will never touch this money. Oh. I will not touch the money. I don't need it. Miko, yeah. take oh. it back to them. I don't need it's it. It's for the doctor. Hi. Hey, what is he will for Burun Jono? Oh, give me the Stella. So how is Mama? She's very fine. So how have you guys been? Well, Mommy, I cooked indomie today. It's a lie. Are you kidding me or what? Yeah, she did. Yes. You did? Don't tell me you finished everything with your father. It is still in the kitchen. Let me go and show you. Oh, you kept from me. I love you, baby. Come on, let's go. She started cooking. Oh yeah, she did. I'll 
When you do it, huh? Daisy! Come, let's go! Nancy, I must tell you the truth. Ever since my father died, I have this, this strong hatred for my brother Kinsley. No matter how hard I try to get it off my mind, the horror picture of the dream I had wouldn't let me. Actually, this whole thing is complicated because of the kind of dream you had. So, what if at the end of the day, Kingsley did not make the kind of money you expected him to? What would become of you? So, what if he ends up making big money? What would you think of it? My dear, I don't know. I don't really know. Ritual, but you refuse to believe me. Have you seen the proof? Will you stop this thing, Stella? Stop it! So after all this while you're still accusing me of killing our, our beloved father. Beginning, belonging. Do you know what is beloved? Oh, because he's your beloved father. That is why you killed him and used him for ritual. Enough. Enough. I'm Enough, Guinea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Mama, you, you, you never laugh at her. And I'm man easily. Hmm. Hmm. Whose car is this? Hmm. Onyo Mamoto. Mama, this is my car. God has blessed me. Oh! Kinsley, take this, your blood car, out of this compound. Huh? Now! Yes! Take it out. He hmm. needs to go. Take it out! Excuse me. Excuse you what, so? Excuse you, Guinea. Mama said you should take this blood car out of his compound. Go! I will not. What do you mean I should take my car? Mama, I just bought a car and I came to show you the car. You're telling me to think I will not take it out of this compound. Oh, Guinea! I make you see where go. Where did you get money from? Oh no, Grego! Blood sucker! Mama, tell this man to leave this company with this now! Ah. King Silly! Oh. If you don't take this car out of this company, I swear to you, I will set it up this. Oh no, Kinta! Oh no, Kings, let's go! Oh, let's go! Kings, let's go, let's go! I, I believe they are just shocked over your, tra your recent transformation and everything. Let's just go, please! Please. Kingsley, take it Kingsley. away! Let's go. So I see you. Mama, wait. You will set no. my car, please. Yes! You will set my car, please. No! Come no. and burn it. Come and set it up, please. I'm sitting down here. Burn it! Kingsley, let's go. I can't leave my father's house. Okay, shut up. I'm not going out of my father's house. For what? <laughs> Come and burn it. Hey, hey! I'm sitting down here. Burn it. No problem. No, no, please forget. Kingsley, our son. What brought us here? Something very clear. And um, we will want you to tell us the truth. Kinsley, did you kill your father for money? Nigori Huh? Nigori How can you be asking me this kind of question? Huh? I mean, how? No, tell me how. Where is this coming from? I want to know from where. I mean, how can you be asking me if I killed my own father? Huh? A man who loved me so much, my own father. The grateful Najum. King Sele, what I asked you was a very simple question. Stop making it look complicated. I ask you again. King Sele. Did you sacrifice your father for money? That is the question. Hmm. I did not. 
liar. A blatant liar you are. Why are you lying? Have you suddenly forgotten what happened the day you came into the hospital with this? Have you? My elders, why I strongly believe that he had a hand in the death of my father is that prior to the time my father died, I had a dream where a man came into this compound and killed my father with this baton. Then the following morning, Kingsley came into the hospital ward with exactly this same baton. And my father saw him and died. And you're telling me you have no hand in his death? Kinsley, this is your point of contact. Estella, calm down. You came to us and made a complaint. Allow us to handle this issue the way it should go. Uh, Kinsley, before you left the village for city, you were begging for food. You hardly eat once a day. Chachado, where in Koneli? In less than a month, you are back a very rich man with an expensive car. Kinsele, how did you get your money? Ebek is in food, go. Eh? Money does not fall from the tree, neither from the sky. How did you make your money? My elders, please, you guys should just calm down. My friend's money is legit. I give the legit. Can you shut up? Who asks for your opinion? Biko, Biko, please. This is a family matter and you are not asked to talk. Please just keep your mouth shut. Biko, what is this? Young man, you heard what she said. Nobody asked for your opinion. When we meet you, we will ask you. Yes. Kinsley, you have not answered me. Where did you make your money from? I bet you see where you go. I did not kill my father. Hey. Look, I... Why what? What do you want to say? You killed my father. And you must confess to it. If you think you can swindle out of this, then you are a dreamer. Because I, Stella, will, will expose you. Mama, I will, I will expose your son. I must expose you to the world. Modra. <laughs> Tiga! 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 There is a serious thing happening in the village right now. Kinsley, your boyfriend is back as a very rich man. And the sister is accusing him of killing their father. I say, that is not true. It cannot be possible. Ah, ah, Kinsley. Come back to this village as a rich man? How? No, 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 no. Because Kinsley just traveled not up to a month. Yes, so that is the more reason his sister is accusing him of using their father for money rituals. Mm hmm. Money rituals. Money rituals. Kinsley. <laughs> Money with Charles. His father. How? I don't understand. Eh, hey, hey, who did that? Excuse me. Are you. Are you trying. Are you saying I'm making this up? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, no problem. Fine. It's okay. If you think I'm making it up, just go there and see for yourself. Go there, go to their house and see for yourself. Ah, no, baby, no, What do you make of all this? <laughs> mm. There is nothing to make of it. King Silly is yet to tell us what happened to our brother, Ibebe, his father. I totally agree with you because success does not happen overnight. There is no way he will travel to the city. And after three weeks, he is a rich man. It is impossible. Yes. Yes. Coupled with the dream Stella had before Ibeke died. Eh? The whole thing points to the fact that King Sele 
is a ritualist. Hey! Oh, you will call you when on him here. Oh, we go. It is a pity that innocent looking Kingsley is capable of such a heinous sin. Yeah, what? Oh, my leg. May the God forbid the evil that will make my two own children. Eh? Use me for, it, for, for, for money ritual. I will go. I My father to give you a better life, and you are excited. Ona Togi, Stella Biko, stop saying that. I am as surprised as you are. Kisley, how come you you become this rich suddenly? What happened? Well, just come with me. I'll tell you. Huh? Get away from me! I'm not going anywhere. Say. Whatever you have to say here, I'm not going anywhere with you. What else does he have to tell you if not to lie to you that he did not kill my father? But we all know the truth. You are a murderer. Listen to me. My advice to you is to stay away from him. If not, you will be the next sacrificial lamb. Eh? Oh, you will go. Oh, Mado. Kisley, I will expose you. For you to have the mind to take our father's life, I must expose you. Opagi. Kingsley, your brother, now a rich man. Very rich. Within the space of three weeks. How is that possible now? It is very simple, my love. Very, very simple. Kingsley killed her father for ritual. He sacrificed him for money. But I'm telling you now that Kingsley will never go scot free. As long as I have breath in me, I will expose Kingsley. I will bring him down to the mode where he belongs. I will do it. Well, my love, even if such thing happened, um, you just have to take it easy. Because Kinsley is capable of taking your life since he's got the mind to kill your father, like you said. <laughs> Let him try it now. Let him try it. Go from get all body. On up one. Oh, Wait, Kingsley. Kingsley. You have heard what your sister said against you. <coughs> what do you have to say? Did you kill your father? <coughs> Igwe. I did not kill my father. I have no reason to do. But the scenario surrounding both his death and your sudden wealth speaks otherwise. If you say you did not kill your father, Ibeku, how then did you become suddenly wealthy within the space of a few weeks after his death? Hmm. You people amaze me. Honestly, people surprise me. Never to you, honestly. 
Now you want to know the source of my wealth. When I was broke, poor, in this village doing nothing, huh? begging for money, going around begging for money to, to bury my father. Did any of you ask for the source of my poverty? Huh? Did you? No. Now I've made money. You want to know the source of my wealth? Eh? Eh, me, me, for your patego. Igwe, I did not kill my father. Your Highness, if he says he has no hand in the death of my father, then he will have to swear for me. He will have to take an oath before Apakala. Chilo! The God of truth and death. Apakala, uh, you Stella. Stella! Do you understand what you're asking for? The death of your only brother! Each year, I do not care who dies after the oath. All I want is justice for my father who was killed. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, Stella, I understand your plight. But there are many ways of finding the truth. <laughs> Without having him swearing before Apakala. Ichi, I insist. He will swear for me. Yeah. He will. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. For the last time, please do. Did you kill your father? Since you have vehemently refused to own up, you must swear before Apakala. I have spoken. Mama, I'm listening to you. You could withdraw that your request from having your brother. Taking that oath at that apakala. <laughs> deity of death and truth. From everything happening around, you know he will not make it back alive. You know he will die. Okay, I won't, I won't reconsider your decision. Be good. Mama, 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 Biko. I am so sorry to disappoint you. I have made up my mind. Kingsley must swear for me. He cannot kill my father and go scot-free. It is not done. If you love him so much, tell him to confess to the fact that he killed my father. Then I will withdraw whatever it is I have against him. If not, he will swear for me. He must swear for me. Oh, Papa Pagene, is it not your father? It is good your father. But if you keep doing this, he will die. <laughs> Let him no die. No. me to be childless at this age. Stella will not be able to survive it. Mama, stop doing this. Are you even happy that you lost your husband just like that? I, if you're happy, I am not. I am fighting for justice. Mama, Biko, don't tell me that. I will not succumb to this. Please, I will not. Biko, uh -uh. he killed my father and, and he wants to be, to be alive. No, he has to pay for it. Oh, father, so bad I can't get over it. <laughs> Chief, what are we going to do now? Eh? You know, if Kisli should swear that oath before Abakala, he will surely die because Abakala will not show him any mercy. I don't even know what to do. I am so confused. I don't know what to do. You don't have to do anything. Yes, Look, I don't want you to get yourself involved with that ritualist. Enugo? Papa, welcome. Thank you, my dear. Listen, Chica. You see, you have to stay away from Kingsley. Stay away from him. I mean, for a man to have the heart to use his own father for money rituals. His own father. You can imagine what he will do with you, a total stranger to him. Papa, I'm not a stranger. I am not a stranger. He loves me and I love him. Me too. Me what do you know about love? Hey! I wonder what has become 
of you people, the, 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 the children of this generation. You're talking about love. Look, if you use a very powerful microscope, you will see the spectrum of love. Bam. So there's nothing like love is blind. Let me tell you, stay away from that man. Somebody who could use his own father for money rituals. Stay away from him. Are you normal at all? Um, Chica, you see, eh? your father is right. You have to end your towels with that man. Eh? It's for your own good. Eh, eh. It's for your own good, though. It will be very, very difficult. It will be. I love him. It's, it's difficult. I can see that the devil has beclouded your eyes with the spirit of stupidity. In fact, not just your eyes, your full being. Let me tell you. If I see you get close to that young man again, I will tell you. In fact, I will make you realize that there is difference between six and half a dozen. And you will know why I am calling Zua. Are you hearing me? Stay away from him. Stay away from him. You hear me? Tell me I love you. I love you. I love you. Let me see you again. Listen to your father. He's right. Stay away from him. Uh -uh. My love, you shouldn't have taken me to that extent. No matter what, Kingsley is your brother. Your only brother for that matter. <laughs> and I'm not sure you'll be happy to see him dead. I will be happy. Listen, my husband, I will be happy to see Kingsley dead. As long as he is also happy to see my father dead, I will be happy to see him dead. Except for the fact that he will be ready to confess to the public that he killed our father. If not, I will honor me also because I won't take it. I won't. Since he's not ready to confess, he should swear before the deity to prove his innocence. Oh, you're so Oh. He should swear. Yeah. Let him swear. Nancy, don't tell me you're in support of this. This is like asking Kingsley to commit suicide. You're meant to be advising your friend, not igniting fire. Chima, please. Be cool. Hey, don't make me look, at, look like I'm the bad person here. Why Kingsley is? He's nothing than a devil. Since he has the might to kill his father for money, ritual, so he should swear. Baby, don't listen. I have listened to her already. Don't Please tell me not to no. listen to her. I have even taken the decision upon me. This is what will happen, and nobody can stop it. Baby, you will not. Oh, be I am supporting you, my Mumba. friend. The outcome will be good. Can you just let's not do what? I think you're not eating this morning. You need to eat. Let me serve your breakfast. Yeah, Please do. Oh, thank you. I don't agree with you as well. I don't want you to take that oath. For my sake, don't take it. I don't want to lose you too. You know I'm here to bury your dead father. <coughs> so you will be able to calamity. It will be a huge blow on my side. I will not, I will not be able to survive it. Come on, Biko, don't take it. Biko. Hmm, Mama. Honestly, I'm trying so hard to be calm about this. You're really hurting me. Believe me. Your words are hurting me. How can you even think of something like this? Hey, Mama. That I killed my, my own father. What? How? Me, your only son. Eh? Right in front of me, you told me that you're going to burn my car. A car that God blessed me with. My own mother. Give him my own I did not, I did not kill our father. I didn't kill him. And I'm going to take the oath. Kisney, hey, please. Stop being stubborn. Leave this stubbornness aside and live for your mother. She needs you. I need you. Please. What are you saying? Huh? No, tell me. What do you want me to do? I should avoid taking the oath. Have you thought of what's going to happen if I do that? Everybody will now believe that I killed our father. The next thing they may even report me to the police for something I didn't do. I will take the oath. Let's see what's going to happen. Please, please. Please leave for us. 
live for our unborn baby. What did you just say? Yes. I'm pregnant for you. I'm six weeks pregnant for you. Chica, why? Eh? What have you done, Chica? How could you? How could you tell him that you're pregnant for him? What's wrong with you? I don't even know what I just did. I cannot explain what I just did. Maybe it's for the fear of losing him. I cannot afford to lose Kinsley. If Kinsley dies now, I will not be able to survive it. I will survive it. Don't you understand? Can you hear yourself? No, Chica. Can you hear yourself? Do you know? By telling me that you're pregnant for him, you've put your life in danger. Yes! Do you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is it that I just said to you, Hey! You're pregnant for who? Chica! I'm asking you, you're pregnant for who? Hey! I'm finished. You mean you're pregnant for the ritualist, Chica? Hey! It's okay. I'm coming. Chica, why? Why? Why did you decide to disgrace me and my family like this? Chica, you are not going to keep this baby. Yes, you are not going to keep it. You have to terminate it now. Papa, no. I cannot terminate my first child, Papa. I will not do it. I no. can't do it. You will. I'm your father. And you must obey me. You either terminate this pregnancy or I will disown you. Papa, I, I'd rather get disowned than Remove my first child, Papa. I cannot do it. I can't. Papa, it's not possible. I will not you're do it. I, I, where do you think you're going? You're walking out on me. Hey! Chica, how did it go? What did your father say about the pregnancy? Miss, can you imagine? My father asked me to abort my baby. Can you imagine? Or if I refuse, it's going to disown me. Um, my friend, if you ask me, your father is right. Yes, you have to remove this child. You have to. Hmm? Yes. You see? Mercy, hmm? are you the one saying this? Because I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. I'm disappointed. Mana, let me tell you. See this child? I will not. I won't. I will not abort this baby. I won't. Mamma, all the possible. Um, Chica. Chica, listen. We love you. And we definitely want the best for you. You keeping this baby. How do you intend to raise this child? Fine. Even if you succeed in raising this child, will you like to bring him or her to this world where he will be reminded of the father being a ritual killer? Is that what you want for your child? Think about it. Think about it, okay? Where's now? 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 Where's now?
I don't know. Kinsley, step forward. You still have second chance. If you know you are not innocent, tell us. After swearing to the truth of death and to the truth, there's no going back. Are you ready? If you know you have no hands in the death of your late father, pick that secret of form. Send secret point. Raise it to your right hand. Of course, you need innocent. Pick it. Papa. I am innocent. Pick it. Quiet! He killed my father. I am sure of that. Quiet, woman! Quiet! Quiet! Before you incur the anger of Apakala. He killed my father! Shut up! This case is hereby ended. Messi! Messi! I said it! I said this! I said it! I said it! I said this! I said this! My fellow elders, so Kingsley survived Akbakala's oath. I mean, we have not experienced this in many years. Mm, yes, that points to the fact that Kingsley is innocent of what he's being accused of. For the fact that the, uh, the sister said she saw him in her dream when he came into the compound and killed her father. Eh? In fact, uh, and became rich, suddenly he became a millionaire. Everything is so confusing. Uh, oh no. Are uh, you saying that uh, King Silly killed his father? Uh, that's directly pointing to the fact that uh, uh, Apakala 
the great deity of truth and the death told us like I never said that. I never said he is not innocent. So, what I'm saying is that uh, the whole thing is, is the whole thing is confusing. Uh, it's confusing. Uh, my elders, uh, my fellow elders, I don't think we should argue about this matter. Hmm? We have to respect Atakala's verdict before we incur the wrath of the gods. Oh, yeah, no. Yes, mm. we have to accept it. Stella, please stop. This is getting too much. My daughter, I beg you, please stop. Ozuko. Mama, stop what? What exactly do you want me to stop? You want me to keep calm while the man that killed my father is walking freely out there? It is not done, Mama. That will never happen. What else do you want? Apakala has proven him innocent. Mama. Yes! Apakala might be strong, but not the strongest deity. Do you understand? Kinsley had already fortified himself from his occult before taking that oath. Believe me, Mama, those occultive people have more power than our local deities. Stella, what do you really want? Do you really want your only brother dead? I want him to be disgraced. I want him to be publicly disgraced for taking the life of my father. That is exactly what I want. Kinsley, do not think that you have been vindicated because you swore by Apakala. Mm -hmm. I am going to take you to a Rubomu. You will have to swear for me for killing my father. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You will swear for me. Ah, uh, bro, say a Rubomu. It will be a monster. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, let's go. man. Mama, I will not keep quiet. Mama, Mama, please don't tell me that. I mean, you kill your brother. Mama, please don't tell me that. He is responsible for my father's death. And you don't expect me to keep quiet. Hold on. He will swear for me. He will swear for me. You have to calm down and accept the fact. What fact? I ask you, my husband, what fact do you want me to accept? Is it the fact that Kinsley killed my father? I used his occultic powers to escape Abakala's wrath? Is that the fact you want me to accept? I love Abakala is the strongest and the most powerful deity in this region. There's no way he will let your brother survive if he's guilty. What are you saying? You talk as if you do not know that he was already fortified before taking that oath. Or you don't see it happening in movies. You, 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 you think he doesn't exist, right? My dear, there's so much exists. But somehow, your husband is right. Yes, Kinsley is your only brother. Mm -hmm. Your only brother, Nancy, please. If you do not want me to get mad at you, do not call him my brother. He is not my brother. In fact, he ceased to be my brother the very day he used my brother for morning ritual. He's not my brother, people. I'm going to you. Why no I'm saying this? Do you know these days, I noticed that you barely spend time with your family. You're always out there fighting your brother. My love, you need to understand me. I mean, I need to get this burden off my head. I am not myself. I need to. So, so the battle between you and your brother is more important than me and your daughter, Emma. I never said so. You know this family is important to me. Just as exposing the killer of my father is also very important to me. Please. I need justice for my father. Stella, you know I'm your friend, right? And I will always tell you the truth. Honestly, you need to slow down. Exactly. Slow down. That's what we down. ask. You need to slow down and listen to your husband. Listen to us. Nancy, Mama, 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 Nancy, I don't want that. If you have come to my house to make things worse for me, I would not take it from you. Do you understand? I must get justice for whoever that took my father's life. I will not slow down. Biko, Nancy, not slow down. Biko, you may see you may send your back. I should go. Let me go. I will talk to you. She should leave me to the camp. Go, go and talk to her. Stella! Stella! Chief, have you heard the letters that is going around this village right now? Letters. Hmm? What's the difference, Rico? Hey! 
You mean you've not heard? Heard what? Wait, don't. You didn't hear that Stella has dragged his brother, Kinsley, to a Bubongo shrine. And this time around, he has accepted to take the oath. Yes, definitely he would die. Because no one has taken an oath in the Bubongo shrine and lived to tell the tale. Be it the innocent ones or not. As long as you've taken an oath in the Bubongo shrine, you must die. That's it. That is why they call him a bube on. Chica! Mama. Mama, how could you have allowed him to accept taking that hold at a bubble shrine? Mama! Mama, you know that Ebubomu is a very dangerous deity. And he shows no mercy, Mama, you know. Why? Chica, what do you want me to do? What do you expect me to do? I have tried talking to my son to dissuade him from taking the oath. But he refused his sister he must take the oath. Hey! I have tried talking to Stella. Stella is not ready to back down from dragging her own brother to his death. Hey! Why should I back up, Mama? Give me one reason I should back out. Let me tell you, that is the only way out for him. Kinsley deserves more than death for what he did to Papa. Huh? Yes. Eh? Yeah. Is that why you want to wipe away the name of Ibekwe from the surface of this earth? Is that what you want? No, Mama. What I want is justice. I want justice for my father that was killed unjustly. That is what I want, and I shall get it. Justice. Yes, Mama. Ibujuku, justice, justice, Ibujuku. Hey. Hey. Chimeke. Stella. Stella, I understand how you feel. But let's move forward from this and stop all this drama. Don't forget, Kinsley is your only blood brother. Then are you admitting? Are you admitting to the fact that you people are ritualists? Kinsley killed my father for ritual. Are you admitting to it? No. Kinsley, your brother, is innocent. His money is genuine. <laughs> okay, let me break it down to you how you made his money. You don't have to break anything down for me. I know. I was hoping he sent you here to come and admit to the fact that he actually killed my father because he's ashamed to come out and say it himself. Listen. He knows the truth. Kinsley knows that if he dare swears by Ebubomo, he will be a dead man. I know everything. Kinsley, your brother is innocent. You've got to believe him. So wait, are you trying to tell me that God can no longer bless a man? God can, but certainly not this way. God is not a magician. It doesn't happen overnight. What are you telling me? Every good thing of life comes gradually. It comes through hard work and commitment and not like this. Miko. Stella. Stella, you're making a very huge mistake. Let Ebubongo decide. I am sure that Stella must be so ashamed of herself by now. Even the almighty Bubong mm. has also proven her brother innocent. Yes. Mm. The yes. very moment Akpakala vindicated that boy was the very moment I gave up on the matter. Mm. Mm. Because if he was guilty, there is no way he would have escaped the rot of Akpakala. Exactly. There's no way. Exactly. You see, the truth is out at last. The two cases have vindicated the man. Mm. So I, I think we have to go and see Digo immediately and intimate him on what happened today. 
Elders, if you can, can someone tell me what happened at the Bobongo shrine yesterday? Igwe, <clears throat> just like Akbakala, the Bobongo declared the young man innocent. <laughs> oh, yes, Igwe, we were all there. Since Abakal and the Bubongo have declared this young man innocent, let us not drag this case any further. Mm. Let's raise it here and now. In that case, I declare Kinsley Ibekwe free from every accusation leveled against him by his younger sister. He is therefore free to do whatever he wants to do in this kingdom. I have spoken. He will. He will. He will agree to you. If we're going to go see Now that Abakala and Egubong have proven me innocent. I want to go ahead and bury my father. Am I permitted? Hmm. My son, Kinsley. He, will. he whom the gods have justified. Who am I to condemn? The gods have proven that you are innocent. You can go ahead and do everything and anything that you want to do. <laughs> Thank you, Igwe. Uh, one more thing. Before my father died, he wanted me to take a chieftaincy title. Yes, he always told me about the importance of it, uh, you know, as his only son and as an Igbo man. Yes, uh, unfortunately, my father did not live to see this day. You know, today that I have. You know, made some. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so uh, please, Igwe, permit me. I would like to bury my father as a titled man. Yes. If that is what you want, you have it. Thank you. Um, sir. There's no point beating about the bush. I'll just go straight to the point. It's no longer news that uh, your daughter is pregnant for me. And I love her very much. Very, very much. Everybody knows. Um, <clears throat> I would like to take her to the city. Yes, let her stay there and give birth. After that, I'll come down you know, to perform the marriage rites. Everything. Uh, why I want to do it this way is because uh, you and I know that our tradition forbids a man from marrying a pregnant woman until she delivers. <coughs> well, what you said is true. Yeah, the tradition forbids you marrying my daughter now because she's pregnant. Uh, but on my part, I feel more comfortable for her to be with me here in the village so that I can at least nurture her to give birth in the village. At least that will guarantee me that uh, you will come back for the child. Mm -hmm. No, you children of these days, what kind of predators? <laughs> I know. I know, sir. I know. I understand exactly where you're coming from and where you're headed to. Uh, but uh, things have changed. Things have changed. God has blessed me. I've made money. Look around. You see that things have changed. And I love your daughter so much. Which is why even after I made money, I still came back for her. I really want to marry her. Besides, we both know that there are better hospitals in the city. And here in the village. So right there, she will get very good medical care. Please. Let me go with him. I know I'll find 
Are you sure? You know, you've been talking about love, 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 love. Eh? Uh -huh. I'm sure. I want to be sure. I'm very sure. Okay. She says, what can I do? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Papa. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm sure this must have cost you a lot of money. Ah, a whole lot, a whole lot. But I thank God. Uh, God keeps giving me money to spend. You can say that again. <laughs> mm. Come inside. I know you. You will see more. You'll see more. Mm. Of course. All right, Ellen. Get the things. All right. So, my dear, that was exactly what happened. Uh, because of the sudden death of my father and the dream my sister said uh, she had, claimed she had. Everybody started calling me a ritualist without verifying anything, without any proof. Come on, not in my, yeah. When you even think about it, a man who gave birth to me, gave me every good thing in life, was there for me as a, as a father, huh? supported me, loved me, and I loved him so much. How on earth would I kill my own father just to make money? Okay. Baby, I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. I never knew this was what happened. I never knew. You know, the whole scenario made it look so. But I thank the gods. I thank the gods that proved them wrong and then you right. That you're innocent. I am so happy. But sweetheart, please let all this go. And then enjoy this beautiful life your God and my God has given to you. Alright? Okay, so that means you believe me. Now. Of course I do, my love. I do. I believe you. I knew you were innocent. I knew it. I knew. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mama, what did you just say? Why on earth would the Igwe approve of that? That mother should bury my father? Mama, it is not done. Mama, it is never done. It will never happen. Stella. So you want your father to continue to be in the mortuary after five long months? Is that what you're saying? It will be conscience, Mama. I know that Papa needs to be buried. But certainly not with the money made from his blood, Mama. Are you not Papa's wife anymore? Are you not? Please, Mama. Kinsley will never sponsor my father's burial. Never will he. He will not then sponsor it. Bring the money. Because he needs to be buried. It is long overdue for him to be buried. Yes! Give me the money so that we can bury him. As long as you don't have money to bury him, the burial must hold. We need to bury him so that he too can rest. <laughs> eh? Okay. 
can he do? This man we are talking about was my husband. Kisile's father. Not just your father. Stella, why are you obsessed in destroying your own brother? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that at all Biko, who is my brother? A murderer can never be my brother. Kinsley is not my brother Biko. Biko was near my brother. I can never have a murderer as a brother. Never. He's not my brother Biko. Biko what? What are Your brother has sworn for you. What else do you want him to do to prove that he did not kill Ibekwe, your father? Your Highness, you people can believe whatever you want to believe. But as far as I am concerned, Kinsley killed my father. But that is not why I am here. I learned that you already gave him approval to go ahead and bury our father. Your Majesty, it is not right. No one in my family is in support of that. As a matter of fact, we do not want to bury our father now until the killer of my father is found. You can go ahead and do whatever you want to do to find out whoever killed your father, Ibiqui. That is not our business. As for my approval, I have given it. And there is no going back. Okay, very good. Spell capital. That's my girl. Spell transaction. Uh, yeah, it, it was almost transaction. We'll see here. Very good. That's my girl. Okay. Spell International. Daddy, where is mommy? Mommy. Uh, mommy well, we went out. Where is she not at all? Oh, uh, because she's she's caught up with um like activities. Yes, she's she's busy out there doing doing something. Yeah, but she'll soon be back. Okay. Okay. So spell um spell watch. Watch. Okay. Oh, very good. All right. So we'll stop here for now. Okay. So we'll go and um, eat. Well, when you're done with it, then we can continue. Okay? That's my girl. Let me help you for it. So when you're done eating, you continue for more with the hotel. That's my girl. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. If you know what is dear to your life, I want to see you back home now. Else this marriage will not be comfortable for you. Oh, Bima, I'm trying to explain things to you and you just... I see you think I'm joking. Hello? Hello, Chima? Ch Why is he getting angry? Stella, 
where are you coming from at this time of the night? My dear, you don't even know what happened. I had to rush down to the village immediately I heard the Igwe has given his approval to that Kinsley, that murderer, to go ahead and to bury my what? father. What? To do what? I'm asking you. Eh? Stella, why can't you focus on your family? Why can't you focus on building your family? Instead of fighting a blind war. Why? What do you mean by a blind war? Of course it's a blind war. I don't like what you just said right now. You're making me feel as if I do not love this family. I love this family. And so do I love my late father who was killed by my brother. If you're expecting me to end it, then you have to think twice, Chima, because I would do not You must end. end it. You must end it. Else, the result will be disastrous. Mm. You think I'm joking? No, you think I'm joking? What kind of stupid attitude have you been portraying for crying out loud? A married woman, look at the time you're coming back home. Ella needs you. This family needs you. Oh, please, Jima, stop shouting at me. What wrong have I done to you? Oh, you actually expect me to calm down, allow my brother to do whatever he pleases and go scot free? I will not do that. I don't like this thing. Uh, am I not back home for my, for my daughter? Am I not? You're, you're, I don't you're like this back thing. home and, and now she's sleeping. A good mother. Look at the time you're coming back. You're back home. Nancy, I feel like I'm. I'm going crazy. I feel like I've lost my mind already. Do you know that my husband, who is supposed to be supporting me at this moment of my trial, is totally against me? And to crown it all, he's even threatening me with our marriage. My dear, I already know that it will come to this. Yes, given to the things he said the last time we were at your place. So I'm not surprised. But why would he do a thing like this? He is my husband. He's supposed to know how I feel deep inside. But no, he doesn't. Look at Kinsley. That fool. That murderer. He has gone to fix the date of our father's burial. You mean Kinsley? Yes, he has. So after killing your father, he still wants to bury him with that ritual money. <sighs> that guy is so unreasonable. So what happens to his shame and honor? He has suddenly lost it. Kinsley. But I promise you, Nancy, that barrier will not hold. It will not. I will deal with Kinsley. I will humiliate him. I will drag him to the mud. I must tell the world how horrible he is. I must get justice for my father. This I vow. I must do it. I know where he lives currently. Maybe you can pay him a visit. Mama, I have been saying this. You people should not think that I am joking. That occultic son of yours will never bury my father. It will never happen. Stella, what is your problem? Stella, what is wrong with you? Do you want me dead? Easily killed your father. Is that enough reason to want me dead? Is that what you want? Mama, please stop saying this. Why are you saying all this? Is it because you know I've always wished you well? No, you don't. You don't wish me well at all. Because if you do, you will allow Kinsley to bury his dead father. You love this man. How long do you want him to be in the mortuary? No, I don't care. I, long. Long I, don't to to me, man. I don't want I don't care. I mean, I don't want to care. I don't know how long he's been there, and I don't care to know how long he's going to still be there. But what I am saying is that your son will not bury my father. Oh, it is not done. He will not bury my father. Go and warn him to hands off with anything that has to do with my father's burial. In an even Nagwagi. You will see him. You still want to come and bury him? It's not done. It's going to be never new.
to pray. Prayer is the key to everything. Anything you want in life, you can only get it through prayers. I will keep praying. I will not stop. <laughs> keep praying, you know. You listen now, boy. Pray all you can, but I'm telling you now to your face. No amount of prayer will stop the calamity that will soon befall you for signing that thing, that devil you call a husband. And now let me sound this as a note of warning to you. Leave me alone. Do you understand? And tell that useless husband of yours to leave me alone. Tell him that I am coming for him. I am. I am coming for him and whatever he thinks he has. Dala.
Um, the doctor is coming to check on her. Okay. Yes. You should worry. Don't touch anything. Don't. Oh. Okay. We have been able to stabilize her. Um, on the meantime, we need to run a scan and some tests on her to ascertain what actually is wrong with the system. Okay, so uh, when when do we start with it? No, please. Okay, so like like how much is the test? It won't cost much. Uh, the bill will be out after the various tests and scans. Okay, okay, but let's start yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's what I need to know. Okay, yes. please, just fast, eh? Thank you. How, how possible is that? We have to place her on dialysis in the meantime until we are able to raise money for the kidney transplant. How is she? That's the situation. How do we raise money? Wait, wait, wait. So, is there nothing we can do? Like, maybe to buy medicine now? I can't get to town walk with you and all. Must we do kidney transplant? The kidney is bad. How? Very bad. But we we'll place her on dialysis <laughs> until you are able to raise the money for the kidney transplant. In the meantime, you have to deposit uh, five hundred thousand ah! cashier so that we can start. Five hundred thousand dollars. How do you expect us to get that kind of money? We don't have five hundred. In order to be on the dialysis costs a lot. So please, five hundred thousand for a start. Ah, for a. Find a way to go about it. Help! Doctor! Please he go in! Doctor, please go! Going to do now. Money the doctor is asking for is too much. The money is just too much. Then I do not want to lose my child. Hey man, don't say that. You're not losing anyone. What are we going to do? How do we get the money? We have to deposit the sum of 500,000 naira just in part payment. How do we even get the rest of the money to do the kidney transplant? What is happening? God, why? Why are all this happening to me now? Why? Stop, why? Stop, stop, stop. Stop. <laughs> Trying will not solve the matter. Okay? Well, the truth is that God will never let us. Just we are in this state. Why are you not going to talk? Just to make the money. Speak to someone. Please, you have to. You have to. I don't want to lose my child. No, no, stop saying it. You're not losing. Speak positive. No, I'm losing her. Be positive. We're not losing her. Okay? Stop, stop crying. There you go. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Stella, 
how is she? She's getting worse. For days now, there hasn't been any improvement. And the doctors say that the deposit has to be made before anything is done. So how much is the doctor talking about? 500,000 naira. 500,000 naira. Nancy, where on earth will I get 500,000 naira from? For just the part payments. How do I get the money? And I don't want to lose my child. <laughs> Listen to me. You're not going to lose your child. You will not lose her. Do you hear me? What do I do? Just... <laughs> Send me your account number. Let me give you whatever I have. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Please, don't cry. She has not even been moving. Nothing. She has just been lying like this for days now. What do you want me to it's do? It's okay. God is in control. Okay? <sighs> it's fine. I believe. I believe it's in control. <laughs> I'll send it, please. Please do. I'll send it. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Stop it. I know my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Chima, can you? God, I'm fine. So if you are trekking under the sun, you can miss me. You are the one. Now, my boy, you dad are the one. What's wrong? My daughter. My daughter has been sick. Eh? Oh, we took her to the hospital last night. No, uh, dialysis. She's having kidney problem. Kidney? I swear down. Hey. So what we are actually looking for now is money. The hospital say we will we'll deposit 500000 for a start. 500,000. 500,000. So why didn't you call me since? I wanted to. I, I wanted to. It's just your 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 sister. Eh? Let me just... Jima, let's, call go, her, call her, let's call. go. Stella, Stella. Yeah. Come. Come. So, if not for anything, why not? You're a family now. I will... I'll get that. Stella, what is wrong with you? So you have this kind of problem you don't want to call me. It's going to be 500,000 there. I'm your brother, I'll give you the money. Bamba, bamba, we don't need your money. Oh no, we don't need your money. If your money is going to save my child, let her remain the way she is. Stella, can you shut up? Don't tell me to shut up. I don't need this money. What is wrong with you? What for is wrong with me? Please, I don't need your money. If you say which can you shut up? I will not shut up. Please, I can't need this money. Hey, go, go, just go. I don't need your money. This name. What is that with you? What is wrong with you? Ritualist. Jinsini, on your war, Bara. You killed our father to acquire wealth. And you think life will be better for you? God will punish you for what hey. you have done. That's your enemy, friend. Come and beat me. Come and play me like you. Don't go, go. My God will judge you. My God will disgrace you. One name was the Mumba, one Number one of Wego, 
Right in front of you, in front of me, in front of everybody, she made a fool of herself. Was I supposed to go and start fighting her? Most important thing is that I am not what she says I am. Simple, which you already know, so... Baby, sincerely, this has to stop. This is the height. Everywhere she sees you in public, she... this is not funny. It is rubbish. Biko, find the way and stop this nonsense. Yes, she will stop, okay? I just need to give her some time. Besides, I won't kill her. She's my sister. But you two, you need to slow down. Alright? Slow down. You're taking this too far. You're pregnant. Okay? Don't work yourself up. Let me tell you. Libos nada de boyala. Huh? Haven't you noticed? Anytime you see a mad person, you're always alone. You never see two mad people walking at the same time. Besides, I'm a titled man. What was I supposed to do? You look men men put on wine and I can lose on happy up. Huh? She'll come around. Good thing is, I'm not a ritualist. I've been able to convince my wife. That's all that matters. I don't just like it. You, you smile about everything, and it's not funny. You take it so calm. Diego, Diego, you don't bother about it. why is your husband not like you? Because if he is, he would have said that Casey is not what he claims to be. Do you know that if he had helped your daughter by now, I'm sure she would have been dead. My sister. That is the problem I have with my husband. He's so weak and lazy. He's not like other men. I'm just tired. Mm. Well, as for Kingsley, wait for Kingsley. By the time I am through with him, he will not have the face to show in public. The only problem I'm having right now is my daughter. Let my daughter be well first. I will show kids. There is no problem. Oh na, Adejiana, Abwananya, Abwananya. You have to go to Kinsley's house and warn him to stay away from your family. Because, because you never can tell. He might reach out to Chima, and you know he is in need of money, so he won't hesitate to say no. Hmm. Because what? He wouldn't dare. Yeah. He wouldn't just there. Sure? My problem is my child. Let my child be well first. If we run your wagon, that Modra, I would deal with him. My sister, I am here. I will fight with you. Ha ha! You better one. She refused. Ah. Will you shut up? Stella. Mm? What is it? Again? Again, again. What eh? do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Stella, please. When will you stop this madness? Yes, because I don't understand it. When will you stop it? You never get yourself. What's the problem? You go about. 
was disgracing yourself, shouting like a mad woman because you wanted to avenge your father's death. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you ever mention my father's name with this miserable mouth of yours in Abuala. Eh? Oh, if you never did this, see? Look at her. Cohort of the devil. That is what you are. Where is that your blood sucking husband? My husband is not a blood sucking husband. Yes, Stella. What do you want? It's not at home. Again, please stop shouting in my house. I love calm environment. Have a trouble. I love calm environment. So because they brought you into this house and you enjoyed the one you don't know how it was made, now you can open your mouth and talk to me anyhow. It can look a Do you want to tear me to shreds? Is that what you want? Eh? Jonah, please take her out of my house and make sure she doesn't enter this house again. I don't like mad people. Do you understand me? Where is it you think you're going? I'm talking to you, you want to walk out of me. Are you mad? Eh? I'm talking to you, you want to walk out of me. Madam of the house. You're enjoying my, 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 father's, my father's blood and you want to walk out of me. Is something wrong with your head? Eh? I'm asking you. Now let me tell you. In case you think you're enjoying your life, the life is so smooth for you. So this thing you are carrying, this thing you are carrying is going to be the next sacrificial lamb. I reject it. it. I reject it. It will happen. It must happen. You can never enjoy my father's blood and go scot free. It is not done. You will, you will suffer for it. What's the problem? 
Leave my house! Leave my house! <laughs> go and fight your brother. Go! Go and go and fight your brother. No! No! No, please! <coughs> Chima! Chima, please! I'm begging you, please! Hi! I'm your brother, man. to see you. Okay. But it has to be you alone. I can not see what I came actually concerns her. Let her come inside too. That will never happen, Mama. What did I tell you? No, did I not tell you not to step your feet into this house? No. no. So what are you doing here? Oh, what are you doing oh, here? Oh, God. Listen to me. I don't. Mama, Mama, please, please, I don't mean to disrespect you. If you have anything to say, you can say it here. As for this woman here, your daughter going into this house, is not possible. I can't even allow it in my life. Ah, please. Okay, no problem. Let's go inside. What Fine, talk better, to better. Go inside. Mama, please. Mama, Wait, you mean Stella rejected Kinsley's offer to help restore Ella's life? Exactly, Mama. Hey! Even when she knows that her life depends on dialysis or kidney transplant, and that requires lots of money, and Kinsley was ready to help us, but she vehemently refused, causing my poor daughter's life. No, tell me. Tell me if such a woman deserves to be called my wife. No, tell me. She's coming here to beg me. Let me meet her outside first. Hey, hey Mama. Come on, my Don't you ever mention my name again. I'm walking this devil. Mama, what have I done? Don't touch me. Stop Mama, I did nothing wrong, Mama. What can I tell me? What, Mama, wait!
You know, cancer is the cause of everything you have suffered and lost in life. I agree with you. Kinsley has taken everything from me. But I promise you something. I must take more from him. I must revenge this. Kinsley cannot cost me tears and go scot-free. It's not done. Stella, I will help you. I will help you fight him. But you must know that Kingsley is rich and powerful. So for you to fight him, he must gain some powers and wealth untold. My child. I will help you get to it. My child. I lost my child because of Kingsley. Yes, it's okay, it's okay. I, I don't have to shoot you. Just give me a detailed list of what you want to do. Yes. Kingsley! On your way, go. Artist! Money ritualist! Me frost on your ticket, you go. But mama, wait with me. We're open wait now. Une bit of poison. Which one is on your way, go ritualist? I, I thought we've gone past this whole thing. What, what's wrong? Kingsley, I'm going home. I want to go back to where I came from. So Stella has been right all this while. One more be kagi. One more be kagi. We one more be one more be madam. You used your father for money ritual. Oh, come on, stop this thing now. Stop this thing. Why are you accusing? I thought we've gone past. Why are you starting this thing again? Excuse me, Biko. My dear, dear, hold it dear. You know what we are talking about. Stop asking like you. I don't know. For God's sake, what are you two? What are you two talking about? What are you talking about? Now listen, let me tell you, Kisley, I am your wife. And for some nights now, I have been noticing that you do not sleep with me in the bedroom. Oh. You go to that room 
down the corridor. And let me tell you, last night, eh, I traced you down there. Huh? Mama, you were there? Yeah, we overheard you enchanting in occultic tones. This is okay there. Hey, let one more. Yes, I heard. Inay, me one, me one. Ha! Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Occultic tone. Occultic tone. Yes. Like. Hey man, who is here, man? I'm just joking. I am not a cultist. You can laugh for all you care. I don't care. But I don't ever want to see you in that house again. If you don't know. Mama, I'm just, I am not a cult. Can you just stop this thing? I'm not a cultist. Don't call me mama again. I'm not your mother. From today, I am no longer your mother. You will go walk. This time, Mara, if you don't see anybody, you can use your head or your leg or your eyes. Mama, <laughs> I'm going to Mama, 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 Is this the way to Abara Mary Shrine? Yes. Thank you. Stella, let me give you my yabalo zing. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know my friend. I
Welcome, Nancy and Stella, to the river of Abaramiri. Do not be afraid. I am not the one you seek. Um, if you are not the great Abaramiri, then who are you? I am the gatekeeper of Abaramiri Shrine. Um, please, we are here to see the great Abara Mary. How do we get to her? Please, go. You must drop money to get passage to the great shrine of Abara Mary. Money. money? How much? How much, please? Any amount. I trusted you. I trusted you. I had faith in you. The whole world called you a ritualist. I never believed them. I believed in what you told me that you are not a ritualist. I thought you loved me. Why? Why did you lie to me? Kisly, why did you lie to me? What was your plan? Were you planning to use me or my baby for rituals? Is that your plan? <coughs> Listen, you people are really provoking me. Honestly, you people are pushing me to the wall. I thought we've been through this before. Huh? We've already ended this. What's going on? Why did you bring up this thing again? Oh, again, day, people are pushing me to the wall. I'm not finding this thing funny anymore. Pushing you to the wall. If you're not a ritual, then how come you have a secret room in this house? Why are you having a secret room? You see that room? You see that room? Leave that room. Huh. Pico, just leave that room. What's in that room is not what you are thinking, but leave it. Leave that room. I would not leave that room, Kisley. Also the possible. I would not leave that room. I have told you I'm not hiding anything from you. But when it comes to that room, wrap up that room. Leave it. I will not. I want to see what's inside our room now. Yes. But you want to see what? Yes. You really want to see? Yes. I don't even know what to believe anymore. I don't! What else are you supposed to believe if not what I just told you? Is this not the same room? Huh? This is the room you've always wanted to come into. You're in the room. Fine, but baby, why didn't you tell me all this? Why? Why? Well, that's because uh, anytime I come in here, I usually don't want distractions. I want to sit and sometimes kneel to and pray to my God and communicate with God. That's it. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this plan. Besides, there's nothing to hide. Wow. 
Welcome to the shrine of Abalam Miri. Remove your footwear. Want to go like this? Like that. Oh! <laughs> I love you. Oh, Alright. Yes. Baby. You guys are sick. Of unlimited wealth and powers, where mortal riches are met with precision. My daughters, speak your desires and you will have it. Speak! Um, my name is Stella. I. You want riches? You want your brother to be at your feet? Is that not what you want? Of course, that's exactly what I want. I want to be richer than my brother. As a matter of fact, I want to bring him down to nothingness. That is what I want. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm very much ready. Ready. Kissy, I don't understand you. It's been three hours they brought your wife to this hospital. And you're so just relaxed, as if nothing is going on. Hmm? Are you not worried about our condition? <laughs> Peter, relax. Soon my baby will arrive. It's like you don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. I said they've been here for three good hours. Three hours! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to go into the theater and deliver the baby yourself? Now what did you tell me? Okay, I'm relax. Huh? Relax. She's my wife, not yours. Very soon my baby will arrive. It's been settled. Completely settled. Congratulations, Mr. Kinsley. Your wife just gave me to bouncing baby girl. Ha! <laughs> wow! The sacrifice is your brother's tears. Your brother's wife just gave birth to a baby. 
go and bring that child. That is your sacrifice. And your wealth will know no limits. Go, my child! Go! <laughs> What are you saying? What's happened to my baby? Mr. Kingsley, I've already explained to you everything. I told you that... Uh, you, you told me what? No, I don't get, get you now. I'm going to tell you that's what. What's your problem? You go. I don't understand you. Break it down. I don't want to. Kiss, wait. Wait, wait. Are you trying to tell us that? That the baby that is left in this your hospital, in your course study, eh? Or come on, at 12 midnight, she developed feathers and she flew away. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Can you calm down? Don't tell me to calm down, doctor. No, no, not that. See? Can you calm down? So what are you? So what are you doing in the night? So what are you doing in the night? I stole the baby. Huh? Yes. Can you, can, can you calm down? So, someone came in the night and stole the baby. Can you calm down? You have tried now. Clap for yourself. Uh, doctor, clap for yourself. You've tried. This, this is a situation. Let's come down and know what to do. Kings, Kings, let's involve the police. Let's involve the police so that when he sees the police, he will start talking. Eh? God. You are in the hospital, bro. And it's happened. Thank <laughs> you. 
child. Kisley, where is my child? Get me my child, Kisley. I want my child back. We go. Chica, I know you are. What are you still doing here? Get the hell out of my house! My love, you need to stop. Okay, slow down. I understand that this is difficult for you. It's also difficult for me. For him, he's my good friend. Take it easy, okay? Kisly, you are my problem. I want my child back. Kisly, if I do not get my child back, this this house, this life will be too hot for you to live in. You will not have to live here. That's a promise. She's under so much trauma right now. Please, anything she says or does right now is not from her heart. Trust me. All she needs from you now is for you to be more of a husband to her. Please, be cool. I love her. She's my wife. No matter what she says, I Please don't. Please. Huh? Delicious, my daughter. Your desires have been met. Go and enjoy the world. <laughs> All I see is money, 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 money everywhere. Go! <laughs> Go! I've not hurt anybody. Yes, I've been pinning me, but I've just been controlling myself. You're, you're taking this too far. Uh, yes, I, I, I can't force you to stay, but understand that I love you. You're my wife. Okay, slow down. Even devil no say na my time move. 
Quatucuna Cosio Ben, eh, Chica, I know you're surprised to see me. Oh, you shouldn't be surprised. Take a very good look at me. I look good, right? Of course I know I look good. Uh, that reminds me. I heard that your husband, my brother, used your only child for ritual. <laughs> Chica, I warned you. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Poverty did not allow you to understand the fact that you were whining and dining with the devil himself. Look at you. Now take a very good look at yourself. Look at how miserable you have become. Look at you. Oh my goodness. My goodness. I know you need this. I know you need this. I know that you are poor, you know? So just take care of yourself. One name now, Pazi Mumba. When I forgot one name, one name, Pulumi, Pulusano Chenna Pago, Pazi Mugua, and I look for a book, Pazi Mugua, and I look for a book, Pazi Mugua, and I Cause it's my turn to shine My body's gonna pull me down Even devil knows say na my time Okwa chuku na gozi obe ni Eya Okwa chuku ne puni mwobe ni Eya Mekene wane mwo Wane na pase mamba Wana fuga wane mwo Wane ne pulu miwe Mama, God has finally blessed your daughter. Mama, with my beautiful car. That one over there is my friend's car, mm -hmm. and this is mine. So I've come to show you my car. Mama, Mama, yes, God has done it, we and I'm here to make you happy. Plenty of money. <laughs> How come? How many? What happened? Mama, I don't need to talk so much, Biko. I don't mean to talk too much. Mama, talk about the money. This is what I have for you. Mama, step on I it. Make, I make money in dollars. Step and I on it. I spend it in dollars. Step on Mama, it. Mama, enjoy it. Mama, enjoy money. Your daughter has made money. Step on it. <laughs> Zobego, go, Mama. Step on money. Just wait. Enjoy foreign currency. Foreign currency. Very bad. This is money. 
Are you not happy, Mama? I don't understand. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Mama, Biko. Hey, this is money. Ego mkute. Stella, how come? What happened? Chima came here and told me what happened between both of you. And ever since I never set my two eyes on you, only for you to appear like this, with car parked outside. What happened? How come? Mama, I do not need to talk. Because even if I talk from now to you tomorrow, you will never understand. Oh yes, the truth is that I have made money. Lots of it. That is why I have come to bury my father in a proper way. Which father? My father. Your father that was buried over six months ago is what you have come back to rebury. Oh, Mama, I reject that kind of burial. I reject it. For him to kill my father for money ritual and still use the same money to bury him, I will never allow that happen. Never. I have come to conduct a befitting barrier for my father and no one can stop me. That is not going to happen. Not now, not ever. Oh, my Lord. oh really? And who is going to stop me? You. Or oh, that fool, Kingsley. Of course he cannot even face me now because he's so poor. Oh yes, he is. Then prepare to bury me as well. Ma, please. Do not even try to scare me with that. Because if you die now, I will bury both of you together. Yes! I've got the money. The news is everywhere. That Stella, your wife, is now a millionaire. She has been spraying money. Since she came back yesterday, as though she's she's central bank herself. Are you serious? Serious? Are you telling me the truth? The, the news is everywhere. She's been spraying money. So she has finally belonged. Belonged where? That devil killed our daughter. And now she's out there living her life. God knows I will never let this happen. I will make her pay for what she did to my Ella. I will make her pay. Are, are you saying you, you, are, you are coming after her? Are you really coming after her? <laughs> I'm going to make her life miserable. Chima, my brother. You will not be able to. Because she surrounds herself with bodyguards. You have allowed her to live her life all this while. And you can continue to allow her live her life the way she wants to live her life. Just move on with your life. Let her not kill you before your time. You fool for saying that to me. A ritualist. Kisley is a member of a cult, Papa. My very handsome child, Kisley killed my child. He used my son for rituals, Papa. Kisley Buru one, Papa. He killed my child. But how? How? Could it be that the gods were lying? We verified. And it has never happened like that. How? He 
she was vindicated by the gods. Anyway, you're crying, right? You're crying. You caused this. You caused it on yourself. Yeah. Eh? I was warning you. Be careful of that young man. Look, what an elder sees sitting at the bottom of a tree. A young lady standing on top of that tree will not see it. I want you. You say, I love him. I love him. I love him. Man, see, you're crying. Remember I told you that you should use a very powerful microscope to extract that law, but you didn't listen to me. Now you are crying. So, whom are you going to blame? Is it me? You have to carry your cross, so. Hey, your cross. Papa! I'm still, I'm still not. How did it happen? Hey. Could the gods be lying? These people seriously do not know. Okay. You're coming. What's the 411? Is he dead? That guy see their life for me. Now I get to the sheep. We bullet that guy, not bullet bullet for the guy body. What are you saying? You, you, you mean he's not dead? Oh, Deshi. Come on, let me tell you. Oh, Deshi, I got to He works for poor people. Clearly, clearly. I don't me. understand. You mean you shot at him and he's still alive? That guy said they're alive. If not, I feel take on go to the place where we used to bullet town. All the cattle is still there. The cattle is still there for that grand day. Please get in the car. Oh, Deshi. I, I just don't want to get in the car. car. I don't know. Talk, talk, Great one. How do I destroy him? I have tried everything possible, but he still leaves. I've also tried everything I could to bring down his business. But he keeps going every day. Please, tell me, what do I do to him to make him crawl and beg me for life? Go and get me sounds from his beginning. Sounds from his beginning? Great, great Abalamuli. I, I honestly don't understand what you just said. The first place he ever lived and saw the light of the day. That is his beginning. Go and get me sons from there. Then I shall make him kneel before you. Child, 
Yes. I, I, I killed your child. I, I, I used her to become rich. I have always thought that you are an occultic man. So, that, that was why I, I, I got into a cult. Just to frustrate you and make life miserable for you. But... Ah! The, the more I try to frustrate you, the greater you become. Ah! Ah! I'm, ah! I'm sorry, please. Spend my life. Damn. I'm sorry. Ah! I'm sorry. How do I prove my innocence? How do I make you understand? How could you do something like this to me? You took my first grandchild for no reason, you killed the poor child. Why? And why tell her that was wicked? Hey, boy, that boy. I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't believe you all this while. Just that I, I didn't know how you suddenly became so rich. I didn't tell me anything. So how did you become so rich? Suddenly. Ha! Kisu! Kisu, guess what happened now? She knew you left before me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold this one first. See, listen. As I was coming, I saw this madman. He called me. I was like, ah, ah me, madman. Mm. I looked at myself. I'm not mad. He said I should come. That's going to give me a number. I should give him 200. Mm. I was like, 200? What number? He said, once he gives me that number, bam, you me. He's not millionaire. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I hope you give him. I, I get that's the yeah, number yeah. you're holding now for 200 naira. Yeah. <coughs> mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. mm. Okay, well, it's good though. It's good, at least me, I always love helping people. Uh, with the little you have, you help. You use that money to eat and at least survive for today. But see, all these betting things. So it's not my thing. Take. So you don't believe on, in all these things? Mm -mm. <laughs> Kisi, I don't feel you now. You've not heard any story about madman giving number and they are instantly becoming millionaires like you've not heard it before. Mm. I'll play it. It's, it's, it's 200. If you cut, you cut. See, let me tell you, there's something about betting. The moment you start it, you will never stop. This little money I have now that I'm hanging on to. Mm. I get a teacher, I'm not a <laughs> 200 now. <naira. laughs> Let me hold on to water. I play the bet. I don't understand what is going on. Betting, you are not. Betting, betting things, uh... You're not praying today. <laughs> My son, I know you don't believe in soccer betting. We're we'll going to play that game. Peter gave you. With that 6,000 naira you have worked hard to pay. Go and play it. God will bless you with millions of naira. Go! Go and play it. And God will bless you forever. Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Six. 
Peter! Peter! Bring that paper, let's go and play. That's exactly how I made my money. God blessed me. Mary said, no matter, please forgive me. Please forgive me, my son, please forgive me. I am so sorry I didn't believe you. Paul said, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry because I know because I know. How do I prove my innocence? How do I make you understand? How could I kill the man I love with all my heart? Tell me when I become a monster. And why would you think of such things? Only heaven knows I'm innocent. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, ah. You got me to swear for you. I did all the place that you invited me, I came. So why are you walking for my downfall? Tell me when I become a monster, and why would you think of such things? Only heaven knows I'm innocent. Whoa, I'm innocent.